before installing this mod, there are a couple of prerequisites that need to be in place beforehand. In particular these are the Pace Node plugin, Reshade, the Tournament plugin that is also known as the Check plugin, and ideally, all stages you want to use. The last one is not mandatory but recommended, as it makes life a little easier down the stretch. When installing Reshade make sure to install it with DirectX 9. Other than that, you don't have to bother much with installing shaders, as this mod will come with all the necessary files. Just use the standard installation process. The best source for the Czech plugin is, well, the Czech website. If you manage to get through the captures that is, in the background I'm just installing some sample stages to represent the process of installing all stages beforehand. Despite sounding like an androgynous robot right now, there is a real human being behind this project, as is obviously proven, by passing all the captures in the background. No artificial intelligence, ever, would pass these. Once the prerequisites are installed, extract the contents of the mod's archive into your Richard Burns Rally main directory. There is a README with detailed information regarding the installation and some files to better back up beforehand if you choose to install the mod manually. If you are coming from a previous installation of this mod, it is recommended to use this little uninstaller that will get rid of all the old files. It will clean up your folders and make things easier in the long haul. After that, click the installer. This will move all files to their respective locations and back up some files that are better kept around. All the mods, folders and files stand out pretty well. They are supposed to be easily navigated without cluttering up your original RBR installation too much. At the top of your Richard Burns Rally main directory, you will find this mod's main folder. We will talk about this in more detail later, because for now you are already done with the installation in its default setup. There is a very detailed manual located in the mod's main folder with all the information you might need. For example on how to adjust the resolution of the headlights texture overlay to your in-game resolution. As long as you keep the mod's file structure as is, the manual will also work as a tool to quickly change to all the file's locations. For example, it will directly open your Richard Burns Rally.ini to quickly find out your game's resolution. We will need that information for the last step in the setup. In order for the headlights to work properly, you might need to adjust the resolution of the texture. By default it is set to 3840 by 2160. Open the reshade preset files and edit the values for the resolution if necessary. In the default installation of this mod, you will have to do this only within the two files inside the soft folder. However, if you choose to use a high quality setting of this mod, you will need to do this for the respective three files in either plus 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 or plus 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 once on track double right click your mouse to open the pace node plugin window here you can change your seat position, or in this case, adjust the position for your headlights. Control L will turn on and off the headlights for the bonnet view. Alt L will turn on and off specific headlights for the cockpit view. Both will work in either camera view. The cockpit headlights are just a little more optimized for the cockpit surroundings. Just use whichever suits you best. More on this at the end of the video in the fantastic super pro tip section.
As hinted at earlier, here is a quick overview of the contents of the mod's main folder at the top of your Richard Burns Rally directory. Among others, you will find the uninstaller, some documentation and the files the installation backed up earlier. As well as the quality settings switches at the top of the folder. More on this later though. Also included is a folder with preview images to all the different quality settings, including their performance impact to help you choose your preferred setting. In total there are four quality settings of this mod. Soft, which is the default installation. Full Plus. Full Plus Plus. And Full Plus Plus Plus. Maybe instead of pluses, I could have gone for X as an indicator, resulting in a full triple X version. But I'm struggling not to mention the mod's name, out of respect to this third-party text-to-speech application, as is. To help you decide whether to use the soft version or any of the full versions, you will find a folder inside the mod's main folder with preview pictures and benchmarks for each one of them. If you decide to go for full, click inside the full switcher and choose anyone between plus, plus plus, and plus plus plus. Switching back to soft is at least as easy. Use either the command file to perform this task automatically, or do this by copying the contents of the corresponding folder to the main directory. Once switched from soft to full, switching between the three full versions can be done on the fly from inside the game. For example, let's switch to full plus to change from soft to full. In game you will be greeted by all the mods indicators on what version you are currently running. At the top of your stage list for example. More on this later in the tooltips section of this tutorial. To now switch between the three available full versions, hit numpad 0 to open the reshade window. Next switch the directory to one of the other versions. In this example, we go all in with a triple plus variation for the most extreme lighting effects. Know that now circling through the presets with numpad 4 for previous, and numpad 6 for next, will now only rotate between the three presets of the triple plus version. Control H will pop up the help overlay with lots of useful information, and an indicator on what version you are currently running. When using the soft version, circling through the presets, will only rotate through the two soft presets of Soft General, which is to be used in all weather conditions, and Soft Night, which is specifically designed to be used during night conditions. Three, two, one, go. Now for some pretty annoying troubleshooting. Installing a stage will write some lines inside your tracks.ini and tracksettings.ini, therefore overwriting any previously settings of this mod. To combat that, you will need to reapply the version you are using. If you are unsure, remember you can always check your current version at the top of the tracks.ini or the tracksettings.ini file. To reapply the mod's settings, go to the top of your maps folder. Now click the respective command file to perform this task automatically. If done correctly, the install stages will appear in your stage list and will be marked with an asterisk. Now, if you install the stage, but fail to reapply this mod's settings, the stage will still appear in your stage list, but will not have an asterisk next to its name, and therefore will not have the mod's settings applied. Depending on what version of this mod you are using, this will result in a massively over-brightened look when using the reshade presets. And of course, the stage will use only its initial Richard Burns rally particles, and not the particles of this mod. There is another way this might haunt you. Installing a recently published stage might result in it not yet being included by this mod. This means that if you install that stage, it will write its lines as usual in the tracks.ini and tracksettings.ini. 
Overwriting the two files by reapplying this mod's settings as shown previously will in this case simply erase the lines. Therefore, the tracks.ini and tracksettings.ini will have no mention of the install stage and it will not appear in your list. In the background you can see a simulated sequence that will produce this result. So the best approach for installing stages that are not yet included in this mod is to not reapply this mod's settings after the installation of the stage. As shown in the background, this will perfectly install the stage. It will be listed, but it will miss the asterisk that otherwise marks whether settings optimized for the mod. But with the mod being supported and updated very regularly, you will very rarely encounter this issue. And once the mod catches up to the newest release, you can just reapply the mod's settings as usual and enjoy the newest content along with this mod's features again. You will be good with the default installation in 100% of offline use. However, in rare cases, you might encounter an error when trying to join an online rally, hinting at missing lines in your track settings. .ini. In this case you will need to apply the gravely gutted out online version of this mod, that in return however will work online every time. In the background, you can see the mode being changed from default to online. Whenever you are unsure as to what mode and version of this mod you are running, you can check the top of either the tracks.ini or the tracksettings.ini file. At the top of your maps folder, you will find a soft and a full folder, each containing a default, mixed and online mode. After applying the new mode, you can see the changed labeling at the top of the tracks.ini and tracksettings.ini. In game, there are a couple of other ways to tell what variation of this mod you are currently running, as will be described in the upcoming tooltips section of this tutorial. If you are in the full version of this mod, rather than the soft version, make sure to use the corresponding folders of full to switch modes. If you can't be bothered with any of this, just use the mixed version. It combines the online settings with the settings of the default version. However, the structure when circling through the weather conditions in-game will be all over the place and you will run into some of the original game crashing issues that come with a few of the modded stages, especially older ones. The online version will work offline as well. However, it is recommended to switch back to the default version after your online session to get the most out of this mod. In-game you can spot a couple of indicators and tooltips regarding this mod. At the top of the stage list you will find what version of this mod you are currently running. In addition, next to the stages, you will find asterisks to indicate that the stages have optimized settings to work properly with this mod and its particles. Note that even not marked with asterisks, the Vanilla Richard Burns Rally stages actually do have optimized settings and have even retextures coming with this mod. The soft version of this mod is optimized to work without any of the reshades to maintain the highest possible performance. However, it still comes with optional presets that can be turned on and off by pressing numpad 5. At the top of the reshade window that can be opened by pressing numpad 0, you will see what reshade preset you are currently using. Hitting Ctrl H at any time will open up the in-game help of this mod. At the top left corner you can once again see what version of this mod you are currently running. In the background of the main menu scenery, you will see additional tooltips plastered all over the garage, including the reshade controls, the mods version, and a reminder of the Ctrl H shortcut for help. If you are happy with the look of the mod's weather settings, or the look of RBR in general, you don't have to install reshade at all. Just follow the mod's installation as usual, and just ignore all reshade-related info. In its base installation, the mod will install itself in its soft version. This version is optimized to work without any of the reshade presets, but will still incorporate all the other features of this mod, like the custom particles, optional re-textures for the vanilla stages, new weather variations, and some general fixes. Three, However, if you do want to use reshade in the post-processing effects and want to use the high-quality settings of this mod, there are loads of things you can tweak to your liking. Inside your reshade window, you can toggle any effect on and off as you please. 
Each preset has its core effects marked as Control X. These effects are deemed necessary for this preset. The effects marked as Control Y are deemed optional for the preset. If you can stomach the additional performance loss, leave them on. They usually help a preset smoothen things out in the more extreme weather conditions. As always, Control H for help has more information on that. The weather conditions in this mod are set up for hazy heavy cloud to always being night. Hazy heavy cloud is therefore somewhat hidden in the weather options, so you don't select it accidentally. Depending on the stage, you might have to look for it a bit, but it will be there. You can set the resolution of the headlights texture overlay from inside the game. Open the reshade window by hitting numpad 0. Deactivate the performance mode. Activate the lights shader for bonnet and or cockpit view. You might have to open the subfolder within the shader's settings to display the resolution settings. With all the different setups, field of view settings and personal preferences, it is impossible to have a one-size-fits-all texture. If you are unhappy with the headlights you can adjust them to your liking, at least within the Richard Burns Rally and Reshade capabilities. Or you can just decide to not use the headlights altogether. The night settings can be perfectly driven without the night preset. It's really for immersion only. One very simple way of adjusting the headlights on the fly is by combining the bonnet headlights and cockpit headlights. Or using the cockpit headlights in bonnet view. And vice versa. Especially in the more pronounced quality settings it might become advantageous to use the headlights not only in night conditions. Some of the hazy or heavy rain conditions might ask for them as well. Every preset has an optional shader for bloom that can be turned on and off by pressing Ctrl B. It is a quite performance hungry effect that has little to no gain while driving but might look cool during replays. The installation of Pike's Peak will mess with your reshade installation. After installing Pike's Peak, you can use the reshade backups for the mods version you are running to repair your reshade installation. After that, reapply the mods weather settings of default, mixed, or online, with the command files as usual. Pike's Peak offers another challenge regarding its surface colors. In the manual you will find a detailed description and solution for that issue. To disable multiple stages you have installed from simply being listed in your stage list, open your tracks.ini and hit Ctrl Q while having the stages selected in Notepad. The stages will disappear from your list, but will also not work in the rally school or an offline championship or actually any other event anymore. If you have to uninstall this mod, you will find an uninstaller with an accompanied README inside the mod's main directory. Click the command file to automatically uninstall all components of this mod and revert back. Heavy Cloud Cloud version Cloud version Version 100 Version 110 Version Shown Beboop what the f is going on here? P O R N. Is this the end? The old friend. The end. Heavy cloud. Marvelous cloud. Cloud. Poor. Bitsy, bitsy spider. Marvelous. Poor.
And what is happening to us? What is happening to us? What is happening out of your mind? What is happening to us? What is happening to us? Are we actually done here? You have you way to go. Round and round we go. Round and round we go. I came in like a wreck, King Paul. Move over, over. Bar, bar, let bar, Jimmy face, take bar, over. Bar, poker face. Pa, pa, poker we have face. a winner. Pa, pa, poker we have face. a winner. Don't stop. Believing. Believing. Hold, Hold on to, to that, that feeling. feeling. Let me tell you something. Listen closely. Get us out of here. We are going all crazy here. He is holding us hostage in his bloody Richard Burns rally porn bunker with all of his switchers and presets. I can't take this reshade nonsense anymore. I can hear him talk to himself at night. I don't know what he might be capable of. What if he comes up with another one of his mad plus 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 crap? Help, help, help. If in doubt, fat out.